when Pacha was built, but the city began to prosper as the capital of the Nabataean Empire from the 1st century BC. Pacha was later annexed to the Roman Empire and continued to thrive until a large earthquake in 363 AD destroyed much of the city in the 4th century AD. The earthquake combined with changes in trade routes eventually led to the downfall of the city, which was ultimately abandoned. By the middle of the 7th century, Petra appears to have been largely deserted and it was then lost to all, except local Bedouins from that area. In 1812, a Swiss explorer named Johannes Burckhardt set out to rediscover Petra. After this, Petra became increasingly known in the West as a fascinating and beautiful Asian city and it began attracting visitors and continues to do so today. So please join me on my beautiful, amazing, awesome adventure to the Little Petra. So here we are at the Little Petra. This is one of the main entrances right there, but here you can see a little smaller one. And a little smaller bigger one <laughs> and then when we go inside you see the garbage the super tourists left behind but it's still pretty spectacular and here's the inside of the other one so one of the first experiences with the small petra we're about to climb up to the second story of one of our first petra cave explorations upstairs be careful it's slippery because we like our teeth very much so. Here is our first room, Cribs Edition Petra Cave. So this is all like the royalties there. Ooh. Ooh, welcome to my little bedroom, humble abode. This is where all the magic happens, such as burning and fire and such, because you see all the stuff in the ceiling and the walls. And you can see the carvings of the original people. Quite lovely, might I say. Ha! We continue. Ooh, this is probably for decoration or a small flower pot. You can only guess. We don't know. This was for collection of the rainwater, and then we collect it here and then we drink it. And here we see the main living room, the main corners of the senior guests. Yes, it's so beautiful. You cannot go there because it's holy of the holy rooms and uh, the commoners are not allowed. So this is the bed, number two. <laughs> and uh, if you look around, this is where our neighbors live on the other side. But we have a better view of here. So thank you so much for stopping by. There's water here. Nice. All right. So this crib is not so accessible. <laughs> you have to be a semi monkey to climb up. <laughs> but as you can tell, I've had years of practice. And uh, this is all powered by, by vegan plant muscle. You guys just imagine at night, you go up there in a little couch with your food. You have a light candle. And you have some falafel and hummus. And follow what you can buy while the rest is history. So, <laughs> yeah, let your imagination run wild. Alright. This is the gro gross green water. And uh, this is the bedroom. Scandalous. Uh, here we are, neighbor stairs. Try to come and visit them sometimes, why don't you? Yeah, that's pretty inaccessible. Are pretty freaking amazing, not gonna lie. 
Wow. If I was a kid, this would be a dream come true. I would have a, a little fortress in every single one of these. Look at this one. Here, I found another one. It is so cool. And uh, unfortunately, we found signs of life here. Look at this. Freaking people in their garbage. So it's not only enough to take pictures from the outside, but we're going to go inside and try to see what this wonder is all about. Let's go exploring, my lovely friends. Hello, little Petra Cave. What kind of secrets do you hold within you? <gasps> Who's this? A familiar face. So we're doing Bedouin makeup. <laughs> How many camel you want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got two million in Egypt. We got two million. I give you three million. <laughs> you are in Jordan, my friend. I have to see them. I have to see them first. <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> wow. Hmm? Beautiful. Halwa Awi. Halwa Awi. Ali, Ali, Ali. 